What's up, everybody? This is my 2019 Appalachian Trail through hike uh, gear video. And I'm going to have my pack is Palante uh, Simple Pack. This is actually uh, not the Simple, but it's the V2, the second uh, generation of the Simple Pack. Uh, pretty nice overall, lightweight, mesh pocket in the front, durable mesh, two water bottle pockets. Um, it's got a stowaway hip belt you can use when you need it. Overall, not bad. It's got these two little pockets you can put your phone in and snacks in here. Bottom pocket, and uh, overall, pretty nice. Let's see what we got inside. First piece of gear, this is my down jacket, puffy down jacket by Patagonia. Uh, REI fleece uh, line beanie. These are Mont Bell wind pants. I might actually get a rain pant depending on how the weather is going to be treating us. The AT, it's kind of a good idea if it's cold to have proper rain pants. Um, I know on the AT I've used frog togs before which are pretty cheap and lightweight and they worked out. Uh, this is my electronics stuff. I'll go over this um, in a little bit. I got a Merrell Buff. One extra pair of darn tough socks. Uh, lifetime warranty. You can't go wrong with these. This is just a long sleeve for a worm for hiking. Um, it's synthetic material, wicks away fast and dries real quick so you can keep moving and not get cold. Leggings, these are just Nike Pro uh, three quarter length. And they have like all kinds of different thicknesses. They have winter ones, they have lighter ones for um, for lighter temperatures and uh, overall they're pretty good. You can sleep in them, in them too for extra warmth. So I'm gonna bring these. Uh, CEP compression socks. Uh, if you wanna Google this, it's actually really good, uh, really healthy for blood flow and you can hike in them too. Um, Gossamer gear. Polycro, which is uh, Basically, this is good if you're cowboy camping or so you don't rip your tent. Uh, use this as a footprint. It's super lightweight, and they give you two of these. So you can start with one and then have the other one sent, sent to you when it wears down. Um, I used this on the CDT uh, last year. This is the OR helium 2 rain jacket and um, depending on the weather you might want something a little beefier than this but I think it should be okay so outdoor research uh, it's a six ounce rain shell uh, these are my tent stakes F uh, four of them are from gossamer gear whatever they included like aluminum and the other four is from uh, the one tent that I bought, the Gossamer Gear tent. They're like a couple ounces. This is a new tent that I bought. This is the Gossamer Gear, the one tent. And uh, it's pretty lightweight, uh, easy to set up. It uses, basically if you're a trekking pole hiker, it uses two, two trekking poles to set up and uh, it's pretty easy and simple to set up. I've been watching other people's YouTube videos. It looks like you can get it, get the tent set up in like a couple minutes. And um, the reviews on it are tremendous. I actually bought the Soulplex, um, a used Soulplex that I was going to use. And then from reading the reviews on the Gossamer gear, I ended up selling the Soulplex and switching over to the Gossamer because um, it looks like it's a really awesome tent. But I still need to test it out. But um, other than that, I think I'm going to go with it. It's real nice. Sleep system. This is my uh, 
Lightman's Equipment 20 Degree Revelation. Um, it's got a couple through hikes on it already, and uh, I might pair it up with a, a, like a sleeping bag liner depending on the temperatures. And then this is a uh, Z-Lite that I cut to uh, basically it, it gets the shoulder bone down to your hip level. So it should be enough. And it fits in, inside the backpack, which is nice, nice and convenient. And I just use a regular, it's an extra duty, extra heavy duty contractor bag. Um, pretty nice. Keeps your stuff dry. And then I got just in case uh, an ankle brace. This is a company called the Futuro, but if you go to Walgreens or anything, um, if you have any kind of ankle pains, especially on the AT with all the rocks and stuff like that, if you tweak it, um, it's good to have some kind of ankle brace or something. I carry this a lot. So, bringing this with. I got these Tifosi sunglasses and they change color depending on the brightness so if it's not too uh, bright out they'll be lighter and then when it's super sunny they get the the shade will get darker uh, very lightweight and they come with this lightweight case pretty nice little pair of sunglasses uh, water bottles I got a Gatorade 20 ounce and then I got a smart water uh, one liter. And what I like to use is the Sawyer Squeeze full size. And then sometimes I carry Aqua, Aqua tabs with me as well for water treatment. Gotta treat that water, especially uh, in heavy used traffic areas like the AT. I got um, two grocery bags. Um, I still have to buy a, a Z-Pax uh, food bag, so this is what I'm using now, but uh, I'm going to order a Z-Pax uh, Cuban fiber food bag, and from the Z-Pax I'm also ordering a fleece lined pillow. Um, this is the AWOL guide, um, highly recommend this, it's easy to find miles and it's got all the town stops, all your resupply points, you can calculate, you know, really easy to calculate everything that you need to get to in town. It's got all your elevation profiles, your campsites, all your water sources, pretty much everything you need is in here. But what I would recommend is cutting it either in half or in like a couple different sections. So you're not carrying all this weight because it is a, you can feel the weight of this. Every ounce adds up. I'm probably going to cut it in three sections. This is uh, for my phone. Um, basically a Gossamer Gear Cuban bag. Uh, when it's raining, you put your phone in here, put it in, in a Ziploc on top of that. and Kind of like a double safety measure for your phone. We got everything out of the mesh pocket. So all you're left with is a pack there. And then another thing for navigation I would suggest is getting gut hooks. Um, it's definitely pretty good to have. It shows your point on trail exactly, and then you can see the climbs for the day and what kind of elevation you need to be, you're going to be working with and all that stuff. So gut hooks is another thing I would recommend. My shoes are going to be Ultra Lone Peak 3.5s, zero drop shoes, great. I will probably be using these uh, Dirty Girl Gators. Nike Pro, super fast drying, super lightweight, just like our running shorts. And a lot of times you don't even need to wear underwear with them because it's got the underwear lining. and. Uh, Super, super comfortable for hiking. Unless you like hiking in cargo pants to be covered completely. I mean, they're, they're pretty nice. They're definitely nice to move fast in them. I got this synthetic Nike Pro 
uh, just like a lightweight, fast drying shirt, real nice. Um, darn tough socks, of course. Wool socks, fast drying. You can use them winter, summer. Uh, everybody knows these. Uh, for the poles, I'm going to be using um, black and black diamond cork, ergo cork poles. Uh, they're a little heavier than than I'd like, but they work. So. And uh, let's see here. This is my electronics. Black diamond headlamp. Anchor 1300. I am going to be ordering a new one uh, because over time these don't last as long once you're using them. So I'm going to get a new one. Same kind. Um, outlet plug. I'm going to get a, get one with the double. This is the only one I have now, but it's good to have the double outlets on there. Phone charging cord. Little cord to a bag. Here I have a little bit of duct tape. Um, these are uh, Pepto-Bismuth tablets. I got a little Gerber mini knife for cheese and beef jerky and stuff like that. z -Pak's wallet that I've had for like three years now. And look at this. It looks great still, so keep using that one. Earplugs. I'm not a fan of staying in shelters anyway, but um, it's good to bring earplugs with you. You got Colgate, little toothbrush. There, you got hand sanitizer. These, if you want to stay healthy, you got some multivitamin here. Um, get all your minerals and vitamins, and this is magnesium. I usually like to take a couple in the morning and sometimes when you're crashing during the day you get a couple magnesium in you definitely helps um, cotton balls and uh, a lighter if you put Vaseline on the cotton balls it's easy to start fires start a campfire when you need to so it's good to have that um, right now I just have two plastic spoons but I'm gonna get a I'm gonna get a titanium one um, just super lightweight, little mini scissors, and then, uh, some thread, and, uh, a couple buttons in there. And then this is my wet wipes and a little bit of toilet paper. And that's it. I'm going to weigh this thing soon and find out what the pack weight is. And then for gloves, I'm going to have these fleece-lined just like a fleece Nike glove, and I'm gonna pair them up when it's raining or really cold. I can use these Montbell mittens and basically layer up, and that should be good. All right, so I got the scale zeroed out. Let's see. It's gonna be hard to place it on there. It's not a hook scale, but approximately it will at least give us what the scale will be. All right, so we're looking at um, right around 10 pounds, give or take. And the base weight is gonna vary. I mean, if I have micro spikes in here, um, it's gonna be heavier. And then in the summer, obviously, I can get rid of layers and things like that and get it even lighter so